This lesson will build on the basic animation lesson to utilize the iPhone's accelerometer with Dragonfire SDK. We will start with a view called BV and an X and Y coordinates called BX and BY. We created our view in at main and we're setting the position of the view 30 times per second and on timer. In the basic animation lesson, we computed the X and Y coordinates on our own here. This time, we're going to get those values from the accelerometer. We'll need two more variables, accelerometer X and accelerometer Y. We'll set ACCX to the Dragonfire SDK function, tilt get X, and set ACCY to tilt get Y. These functions will tell us how much the phone is being tilted. When animating something, you want to set its position relative to where it's currently located, so we'll set BX to view get X and BY to view get Y. Now, instead of adding 1 to BX 30 times per second, we'll add ACCX divided by 100, and then we'll do the same thing for BY. You can change this 100 number to match the feel you want for your tilt animation, either faster or slower. Our view set XY function doesn't need to change, so let's press F5 to see that code running. You can adjust the tilt of the iPhone simulator by clicking and dragging in this target area. The center of the target is perfectly level. We now have an image moving on the screen with the iPhone simulator. 